Welcome to my Texas workshop. I'm Randy Lammers. I'm Aaron Keevan. This is Worth Knowing. Have you ever struggled with removing a nut from a bolt or a screw when the threads have corrosion, dirt, or even damaged threads? We have the answer for you today called a trim nut. We want to welcome to the Texas Workshop Michael McFadden from Buyer and Michels, a Worth family company. Welcome. Thank you, Randy. I'm happy to be here. All right, so tell us a little bit about Buyer and Michels. Uh, what are you guys about? Well, Buyer and Michels, we're globally known as B&M and we are part of the Worth Group as you mentioned. Right. So primarily we've been a fastener manufacturer and supplier mostly in the automotive industry okay. but we're also moving into the industrial sector. Awesome. Outstanding. And you brought with you today the fantastic product called a trim nut. Yeah. So this is a registered and patented product for B&M. How did this all come about? That's correct. So like most inventions it came about finding a solution for a specific problem. Yep. So one of our customers had a weld stud application, and when it comes to weld stud applications, it's very common to have some imperfections during the welding process mm -hmm. where weld splatters get on yeah. the threads. Very common. And then also um, getting a very thick coating on the assembly afterwards mm. becomes a big challenge for standard nuts to assemble onto these threads. So they, they put the weld stud down and you got some splatter. That's very common. Then you take the entire assembly into paint Yes. And you paint and you fill the threads full of paint. Yeah. Correct. And they typically have to go back and clean all of that mess up. Exactly. Now and the, you're saying this nut will do it. Exactly. Okay. Traditionally, using a standard nut, you get a lot of friction. Mm -hmm. And that's the case with our customer. They had so much friction that the torsional force overcame the weld connection itself right. and was and breaking the stud off of the rail. Fracturing the studs. Wow. And then that, that does, has to go back to complete rework or you've scrapped a piece. Correct, yeah, you've put in all the time to weld all of the studs, put all the thick paint on them, then one broken joint scraps the whole railing. Exactly. That is a lot of cost. So yeah, we do anything to avoid that kind of cost. That's yep. huge for, for a production company. It certainly yes. is. So that's awesome, great application to fix. So the B&M trim nut, how does the magic actually happen with this thing? What makes it work? What <laughs> makes it work? There you go. Yeah. Yeah, well thank you for asking. If you notice on the inside, the internal threads are a trilobular shape. Mm -hmm. And so this acts as a thread forming tool rather than just a fastener. Right. And so the way thread forming will work is it applies pressure to the cylinder or to the threaded stud. Mm -hmm. And it will apply that pressure to push foreign material, excess material, right. or the metal itself into the form of the threads. Awesome. So the metal itself will flow cold forming and to relief into the shape of the threads. Okay, all right, so we did a series, make sure you watch the Worth Knowing series on thread rolling screws, where it does what you're talking about, forming an internal thread into a hole. You've taken and turned that upside down now, yes. <laughs> and you're using an, well it is an internal thread to do the same thing that can actually clear material, foreign materials away, but it can also roll threads by cold flowing that steel into the configuration of, right. what, of what the nut is. So now we're forming external threads. Yep. Genius. Ab God, why didn't we do this years ago? I, I, see, the, I see the similarities. You yeah. know, we, we already, you talked upon uh, this with the, um, the actual application, mm -hmm. removal of the weld splatter or, and heavy buildup. That's yes. a, you know, going on and coming off. That's a very easy process. So, what are some of the other benefits that we have with this? Well, first, let's talk about corrosion. Okay. So ordinarily, you'll install your nut on your threads in optimal mm -hmm. conditions. Sure. But then years down the line, corrosion happens, and then that nut is so seized on those rusted threads, you can't remove it. Okay, all right, you got me smiling here because <laughs> I can see my old 1972 Ford pickup over there that you've seen on the show before. I can't tell you, Michael, how many nuts I had frozen on that old truck, and here I am out there underneath a shade tree in the field on my bike with a hacksaw, cutting <laughs> a line in two because the nut's frozen on it. I can't get it off. Yeah. My gosh, why didn't y'all invent these things in 1972? 
I'm sorry you went through that. Unfortunately, it's a pretty common problem. Yeah. In fact, I brought an example with me that this came off of an old truck, yep. and it's a bracket where the nuts seized on the studs, mm. and they're seized so hard that they had to take an angle grinder to cut the bracket off. It looks like something <laughs> I, I, I worked on, right? Right, exactly that. Thanks for not calling me on those jobs. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, God. I already did the Jeep work, so that's Oh, enough. yeah, you yeah. did the Jeep work. Okay. All right, thank you for the Jeep work. Watch right. that episode. Uh, if you would have put the trim nut on there first, yes. then years down the road, that would have gone right over that rust. That's very, very cool. Yes, and the same would apply for very thick coatings or paint. Sure. So ah, this trim right. nut can install both on previously rusted or thick coated threads. Mm -hmm. Right. And also it comes off of those conditions as well. So yeah. both going on yes. or coming off. Like yeah. I said, if you put the trim nut on there first, yes. <laughs> before the corrosion, and that just pushes away, it pushes yeah, away extra exactly. paint, pushes away extra uh, any coatings. Debris, any debris in, okay. in general. So Whoops. we're talking about, you, you gave the weld splatter example, that's perfect, so yes. dirt would also be removed. Yes, of course, yes. Yeah. So the, the technology behind it, when it assembles, it is pushing away that foreign material, as sure. Randy mentioned. So any of those contaminants or debris, it's pushing them away as it rolls against those threads, okay. and it cleans them right off. Right. So what if I damage the threads, Michael? That's a great question. Of course, especially with your larger sized th bolts and screws, mm -hmm. if you drop them or even in transit or handling, those threads can hit each other, causing nicks and flats. Well, with our trim nut, it would just slide right on and fix those threads as it form rolls to correct the mistakes and the damage. Wow, that's gonna save a lot of time. Mm -hmm. And so as you talk about it rolls threads, then it also forms new threads or forms threads to begin with on a blank unthreaded stud or pin or wire form mm -hmm. part, correct? Correct. In fact, instead of explaining that to you, it'd be easier if I show you. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to demonstrate everything we just talked about so you can see it for yourself. Are you ready? <laughs> Let's go do some demonstration. I can't wait to hit part with a hammer. Oh, great. <laughs> So we're at our demo table, and we're gonna start off with, wow, Michael, something that looks like it came out of my truck. <laughs> yeah. So this really, really is bad. Explain what we have here. Well, we took our B&M trim nut, and we clamped it down just on this sample bushing here. Mm -hmm. And we expedited the corrosion process in our salt spray test chamber. Okay, wow. and you did an excellent job at that, <laughs> let me tell you. This yeah. thing is so corroded, I'll tell you what, I, I kind of feel like I need to get my hacksaw already. Yeah, go grab it, Randy, let's go. But but we're, I, we're saying we're gonna put you to the test. I'm gonna use hand tools on this. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, just, I love this confidence. All right, I'm gonna break this loose. <laughs> okay, there's a break loose. And this is going to spin. Hmm. Oh, wow, that, uh, oh my God, really? <laughs> okay, no, I, I, I have done a lot of this, no way. No way, As a matter of fact, that's just so easy. Can I really do this? Oh my God. My hand. <laughs> okay, my friends, look at those threads. You saw the corrosion on this, no way should that have done that. The trim nut, that's incredible. Okay, I'm now I'm so excited. What do we have next? We're gonna now, do we're weld gonna, splatter. So weld splatter. He, we had that example we talked about earlier. Okay. Let's put that to the test. All right, let me get that set up in the vise. All right, sounds okay. good. Perfect. We have now placed a screw in the vise that has weld splatter on it. You did a good job of that, Michael. <laughs> so what's gonna happen here? Well, the trim nut will actually push away those weld splatters as it rolls right on the threads. I, you're so confident at this. I, I just, I, I love your confidence. I, okay, weld splatter, really? Weld splatter, we always get grinders out. And, all right, make sure I'm in the right spot. I'm gonna, or you just leave it be. Turn this on, okay. Yeah, well, or you end up reworking in all kinds of ways, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so I am rotating pretty freely. Not a problem here. Wow, okay, that's that's just like going right right over the weld splatter. Just right over the weld splatter. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you're having I, a struggle I, with I, this I, at you all. You know what, I'll tell you what, it's doing such a good job, my friends, you can't even tell the weld splatter was even there. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, I get a little bit of, probably a pretty good piece right there I can feel. 
that's, I mean, I'm, that's just pushing it right out of the way. Yep, of course the smaller ones will be like nothing's even there. Yeah. There's no way, no way, no way any standard nut will ever go over this well splatter. Agreed. Unbelievable. I'm just going <laughs> to take it all the way down. I got it all pushed out of the way now. That's, wow. Wow. And you, you can kind of see this kind of little silvery there where the well splatter was. That's really, really incredible. Okay, I'm impressed. What are, <laughs> I'm excited. What are we doing now? Now we're going to do a damaged one, but now it's my turn to do. You, you said hit you it with a hammer? I get to hit it with the hammer this time, Randy. Okay, let's get okay. reset up and put that in the vise. All right. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Okay, here's the vise. Here's the anvil. Yeah. You you hit it with a hammer. That's right. I'm stealing it. Okay. Ugh. Okay, we've done some extensive damage to this bolt now. Everyone on our production crew took a swing at it. So, uh, very damaged threads, as you can see. No way can you put a nut on this part. Impossible. Impossible. Completely possible. Completely possible. Okay. All right. A trim nut. Really? Trilobular shaped trim nut. All Just right. Gotta get it started. Well, all right. I got. I think I got a thread engaged. <laughs> and we're doing this by hand. Now that's the other thing. Understand? I'm just not. <laughs> yeah. You got a kind of an elderly man here. Okay. I. Well, I can. I can certainly feel the damaged threads. But wow. It's just it's rolling. rolling over it. Yep. It's rolling over the top of. You know, I've I've done putting dies and, and forming cutting threads with dies. This is rolling. All right, over the top of that damaged thread. And that's a cumbersome process. So mm -hmm. you're yeah. taking a die, which you usually have to have a couple of handles attached to that. Oh, yeah. In order to do that. Yeah. And it's not the fastener. Yep. This can actually still act as that fastener. Okay, I'm amazing. over those damaged threads. I'm going to remove this. So what's, the, what's happening? What's it doing? So the material has been damaged or flattened. It's yep. letting that material, by the pressure you're applying, flow back into the correct shape it needs to be at. It's not cutting anything. Nope. It's just reflowing the metal into the configuration of the nut. Correct. Yep, exactly. Just as Aaron mentioned, it's working as the tool, like a die would correct the threads. Yeah. But instead of having to get that equipment out and then install a nut, you would simply yeah, fix the threads and then you leave the nut on there assembled. Wow. Perfect. You can see we're a little flattening, but other than that, that is a good usable thread again. Yeah. Wow. It, oh, what's next? <laughs> well, the last thing, we're going to actually form threads, Randy. Form the threads themselves. Form the threads themselves. Okay, we'll get that set up. All right. Now, this is really putting something to the test, something I've never seen before. We're going, we have some unthreaded uh, pins, studs, whatever you want to call these. And you're telling me that this trim nut is going to roll usable threads. Yes, sir. Yep. All right, let's put it to the test. Hey, normally you have to buy some very expensive equipment. Oh, he's you a know, cylindrical, <laughs> cylindrical thro uh, thread roller is very All expensive, right. so this is pretty cool. Okay, so well, let me see here. Let's we'll put it in our in here first, and make sure we're in fast forward. Okay. Okay. I assume this is going to take a lot of torque. We'll see. All right. Wow. Oh, no way. I do, no, no. Uh, that, that, that's real easy. Wow, how fast that is. You want to do quick. it? Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely <laughs> take a turn. This is exciting stuff. I just get so excited about this, but my gosh. Look at those threads. And seated. Mm -hmm. Simple. That is so quick. Last one. Wow. That's look, excellent. Look at these threads. Okay, I'm so excited about that. I, I'm going to really now put this to the test. That really went down real easy. Can I do this by hand? Sure, go for it. Okay, all right. I want to set one up and let's do this by hand. Let's do a setup on that. Okay, so Michael, so we have a Single pin I set up in here because I want to see if I can do this by hand. Now, you know, 
age does a little bit to you here, so uh, you know I, I'm not real strong. And you you say I can do this by hand? Yes, I believe in you, Randy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So I just have a combination ratcheting wrench here. Make sure I get the right side to work with. All right, by hand. A little downward pressure to get it started. One second here. Not. Not, not, not a difficult task of any kind. Okay. I can feel it forming threads. Great. And and, and so I, I just want to show everyone in our audience how really this is not a lot of torque. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little torque, but it's not a lot of torque. Sure. So it's, it's, I see the threads being formed. And you could probably feel the, the shape, that trilobular shape that it's coming through a little bit as uh, you're forming. Barely, but you know what I feel more than anything is a really solid fit. Perfect. So as that metal is flowing into that nut, we've yes. got a close thread fit, right? Yes, so since it's forming its own threads, you mm -hmm. have a very tight thread engagement. Okay, so, okay, I, I was gonna stop right here while the nut's there and you can see very well formed threads mm -hmm. and I can put a regular nut on top of that? Yes sir. I mean if I, I, mean, uh, if I lost my trim nut, yeah. mm -hmm. what do I do? You can just grab a standard nut. And it'll go right on there too. Yeah. So and, I, and this is just, I just like it so excited about it I don't want to stop. <laughs> so this forms really good usable threads and unthreaded components. Very, very good. Yes. And since it's not cutting the threads, since it's forming the threads, it's compressing that grain flow instead of interrupting it, mm -hmm. which will give you a more robust, stronger connection. I'm glad you mentioned that. I want you to notice there are no shavings. I'm not cutting metal away. There are no shavings. It is just forming. Yes. Very exciting stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Michael. Thank you. Michael, that is absolutely a revolutionary product. I can think of so many applications for this trim nut. So you've been in the automotive industry. Give me some ideas. Yes, well, in the automotive industry, this trim nut would be a great solution for battery components. Mm -hmm. Could go into sunroof applications yeah. and even undercarriage connections. Yeah, I can also think we talked about this, Randy, agriculture, oh, corrosion and, and those sprayers that happens, that corrosive environment and all the dirt Yeah, that dirt, dud, yeah, yeah. Those ranchers and farmers are wrestling with that all the time. And similar to that would be the lawn and garden industry. Mm -hmm. It would be excellent for them. I can think of so many industries this would be uh, very, very good for. As in, I will use this example right here as our metal building. So they, put the anchor bolt, which by the way, we did a great episode on anchor bolts, make sure you watch that. Yeah, back in Greensboro was great. You bet. But they put the anchor bolts down in the concrete and then I'm watching, as the concrete is setting, I'm watching the threads on the anchor bolts corrode and there's concrete splatter on those threads. Yeah, they're I am, super clean about that process. Oh yeah. yeah. I am. I ended up like, I'm in the fashion business, not in my, not in my shop. So I got down and I cleaned all of those, Michael, with a wire brush and made sure they were pristine when the contractor came back. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry you had to deal with that. Next time use the B&M trim nut. The yeah. trim nut would have taken that right off. So in conclusion, the B&M trim nut is an excellent choice where you have corrosion or heavy coatings in your threads. Yep, or you've got contamination of the in those threads. It helps mm -hmm. to push that material out of the way. Correct. Yeah. It even can the reform the damaged threads as we talked about. Mm -hmm. So the B&M trim nut does great to ensure a secure assembly and disassembly of the individual joint so you don't have to risk scrapping the entire assembly. It truly is the thread forming tool and the fastener for assembly, all in one component. Revolutionary B&M trim nut, a thread forming tool and a fastener all in one. That is worth knowing. Thank you to Michael McFadden from Buyer and Mitchells and we'll see you next time.